What's up, everybody? Welcome to Must Have Mods, a series where we discuss game-changing and realistic mods that everyone needs in their game. My name is Jay, and today we're going to be diving into SMB Bank and Bills mod by Sim Realist. This mod features realistic bank accounts, direct deposit, child support, welfare, loans, and physical banks, like actual lot locations that you can travel to so that you can get loans and stuff like that. It also makes the billing system in the game more realistic and you have to pay for individual utilities, order yourself phone and cable and things like that. So we're gonna get into all of that in just a moment, but feel free to show some love downstairs by liking the video for me and comment down below for your chance to be featured in our gang 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 shout out. Also subscribe if you already haven't to become part of the gang because we have a lot of fun on this channel if you can't already tell. All right guys, let's get into the SMB Bank and Bills mod. All of the mods that I'm going to be talking about today are going to be linked in a post in the description box. So this is the official mod page and essentially it comes in three different parts. The SMB download is basically the meat and potatoes and gives you the financial system. SMB bills is what gives you realistic billing. And then the SMB FC stands for financial center. And this will contain trade files that give you three different banks that you can download and actually go to in the game. If you really want to get the most out of this mod, then you see down here that you need Little Miss Sam's ATM card with credit and Scarlet Sim City loans. This mod has credit cards and ATMs and this mod allows you to get realistic loans from your bank. Downloading all five is optional but highly recommended. This is my Sim Gigi. We started her off in a fresh, clean save, a beautiful two bedroom, two bathroom apartment. But as you can see, it is really, really dark in here. And that is because when you start in a new household, you have to manually sign up for utilities through the SMB Bills app on your phone. So we'll have Gigi open up her plum phone and go down to household. And here we'll find show bills information. When we click on this, we're going to get the SMB bills app popping up. Here we're gonna see a list of the different things that we can do, but first we're going to go to home services and choose a package. You have three options and the more expensive, the more features that you get. The premium package also comes with the fast internet lot trait, so keep that in mind. We can also just come here and choose what we want. So if we're doing a rags to riches thing and we can't afford everything all at once, then we can individually choose which bills we wanna pay first. We're gonna choose the premium welcome home package for Gigi, only the best for our gal. And as you can see, our apartment is suddenly extremely lit. So now that we have our lights turned on, you can see on our phone that options that were blanked out before are now available because we had to pay our phone bill. I'm gonna show you a little bit in the app real quick. You can pay your household bills that come to your mailbox every day right from the app. They also offer you government benefits. If you are a single parent sim and your child's other parent lives somewhere in one of the worlds, then you will automatically get a child support payment every single week. And it's a small percentage of their total net worth, I believe. So the richer your baby daddy, the bigger the check. <laughs> You can also get alimony benefits should you divorce from a sim. Down here, we also see the option for well fund. So if you are a low income family and you're in a sticky situation, then you can apply for extra help. That was the billing portion. For the banking portion, I want to take you to one of the actual financial centers that SMB provides for you. So here we are at the bank. Again, the financial center download has three different lot venues that you can use as your bank branch. First, let's go over here and talk to a bank teller. Here at the teller, we can make a deposit, a withdrawal, send a simoleon gram or a wire, and make payments on your different loans. You can also find back here in the offices some people that you can talk to about getting these loans. Let's click on an account manager so that we can talk about our options. I don't honestly know if Gigi can get approved for any loans because she's kind of a broke bitch. 
And I'm not sure exactly how the financial system works in the game. It's based off of your income. It's like a debt income percentage or something. I don't know. It's all on the website though. <laughs> oh, what is happening here? She's shaking it like a salt shaker. So let's open up a bank account. I'm glad you decided to open an account with us. Let's start right away. Which bank product are you interested in? I I want both. Can I not have both? I say both though. We'll just do SMB for now and open an account for GG. Um, let's see. Just to start the account off, we'll put 250 in there. You got the money. Thank you for opening an account with us. I hope you enjoyed the service we provided to you today. Please feel free to stop by anytime for future requests. If you would like to make a withdrawal, a deposit, or send money to a friend or loved one, our tellers are available to assist you. We also offer credit products if you need an alternate form of funding on your bigger purchases. We have loan officers that can guide you through this whenever the need arises. Thanks again for using SMB Bank to satisfy your everyday needs. I do want to look at their bank products because Gigi could definitely use a loan. She just got her first apartment. She put her first, last, and security deposit down and had barely anything left over to her name to furnish the place, which is why she's here today. Oh, so we could have read about each of them before we made a decision. Wow. SMB Bank currently offers a main account that allows you to deposit and withdraw a limitless amount of funds. You can use this account to prepare for bigger purchases, save for college, move to your first apartment, pay for loans, and send money to others within and outside of your household. More account types and features are coming soon. Be the first to join a new financial movement in your community. Open an account today. And Little Miss Sam SIM points, ATM. SIM point ATM cards are a great and simple way to gift money to others as well as store some money away. You can buy as many as you'd like with no additional cost. You can also use them or apply to one of our credit options at any SIM point ATM near you. Buy one today. Disclaimer. This is a non-transactional account type. You can only buy set card amounts and then sell them to get your money back. Huh, that's interesting. I've never actually used that feature before. Let's go back and try to see if we can open up a SIM point ATM thing. Oh, okay, I see. See, they have a 100 and a 500. Gigi does not have much money, but we'll do the 500 one. Another thank you message for opening another account and another credit product offer. There's also these ATMs that you can use. So let's head on over here to one. Apply for a credit and buy a card. Oh, this is exactly what we just did. Okay, so basically you can do it straight through the ATM. Oh, did we just do that? Oh man, no, I didn't, no, don't do it, don't do it. I was trying to cancel the action. I wanted to take out a bigger credit than 2,500. Dang, we did it. We took out 2,500 from the ATM, but I really wanted to take out more. <laughs> All right, so you see the 2,500 deposited in our bank account and in our inventory, we now have a $2,500 credit agreement. We can repay the loan in full or we can wait for it to ask us for a payment, I believe. And this is uh, the Little Miss Sam ATM. It's separate from SMB, but again, you can use it in junction with it to make the experience better and have more features. And it also incorporates SimCity loans, but you can use SimCity loans all on your own as well. Let's head back to Gigi's apartment. So we are back in Gigi's unfurnished apartment. And we used the $2,500 to buy us a Plumbook laptop. The latest and greatest by Arnie. So you can click on any computer to apply for credit and you can pick anything from here. So let's see if we can apply for another credit, a bigger credit, the $10,000 one. Oh yes, it granted us another 10 grand. And when we go in our inventory, there's another credit agreement. Oh, they're crazy. They just out here giving money to anybody, huh? So with this money, she can get herself the essentials for her apartment, which they're pretty much already here since it came with a kitchen and two bathrooms. But yeah, let's get Gigi a few things and let's try to let a few sim days pass so that way we can actually get a payment reminder and our bills due. So as you can see, I'm no decor guru, but I tried. <laughs> and now you can see that the daily credit rate is now available to pay for each of the loans. All right, guys, it says the daily credit rate of Gigi has just been booked. Many thanks. The only thing left to show you is when the bills actually come. So hopefully he was dropping bills off to my mailbox. 
you can actually click right on your mailbox and go to show bills information. But as we can see here, nothing is due yet. And also it would show property tax, but I'm renting an apartment. So if you are a homeowner, they do realistic property tax every 28 days or something like that. So it took until Monday morning for her rent to actually be due. Your apartment rent is due. The total cost is $1,000. Pay now using your SMB bills app. And we don't have enough money in our bank account to use our account money. That's why it says you don't have enough money. We only have like 250 in our account. So let's change that. We'll go to our phone and call the Sim National Bank. Then we'll go to our account, deposit money, and we'll put half of what we have in there, 2,500 this time. We can also send money with this. So let's send a couple dollars to our friend George because George helped Gigi out when she first moved here. There you go. We'll send $50 to George Cahill from our main account. So we'll transfer money now. And you see the $50 just came out of our account. Here is the career direct deposit menu also where we can transfer a percentage of our paychecks into our bank account. So if you're looking to save and put some money away or even just put a few dollars in the household just to cover your part of the bills and everything and keep everything else to yourself if you're doing like a split household storyline type of deal, you can do that. So Gigi is just looking to save a few dollars out of her checks. So she is going to put 15% of each check away into her bank account so that she can save for a house. So when Gigi actually gets a job in the next episode where I cover the job finding mod, I'll insert a clip into this episode of what the direct deposit breakdown looks like. Now we can go back to the SMB Bills app and pay our utilities and pay our apartment rent directly from our bank account. So we'll pay everything and then pay apartment rent. So here in the corner, it gives us a little statement. After paying everything, our main account went from $2,700 to $1,086. These are some buffs from the loans that she has taken out. She has 21 days to pay back the 10K one and six days to pay back the $2,500 one. Little Miss Sam's is different from SimCity yes. loans, I believe, in the way that they calculate things and the payments and stuff. It's two separate ones. So you can choose which one is right for you. Okay, so as you can see here, Gigi brought home $56 today from her part-time job as a coffee barista. So 15% of that was $8 into her bank account and the rest into her household funds. If you're interested in realistic job finding, then definitely check out my next must-have mod video where we apply to jobs, go on interviews, send out resumes, and more. It makes it realistic to find a job and go job hunting because job hunting is a job in itself, let's be serious. So that was the SNB Bank mod. There are more features to check out such as the child support and the alimony and I would really like to do those in a separate video. So if that's something you'd be interested in, then let me know in the comments. And I really would like to do a modded Let's Play where I kind of just, you know, play the game and experience different mods. And that's one of the main reasons why I want to do a must-have mod series so that I can go through each one and take the time to individually play them and learn about them and then do a series that kind of is just like a mod free for all then because I know what I'm looking for, you know? When you download so many mods all at once, you don't really know what features are what. You feel me? <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, did, feel free to show some love downstairs by liking it for me comment and subscribe to become part of the gang because we have a lot of fun on this channel if you can't already tell that's gonna be it for me today peace and love when i get my